nothing like laying on grass on nice, soft, green. Oh, what was that? Oh, it felt like something moved. It did move. Wow. There's a plant called the touch me not. Even when you just touch it with your finger or brush across it, the leaves instantly fold up and the stalk kind of bends down. Now, first of all, how does that happen? And second, why would a plant do that? Botanists, biologists who have looked at the touch me not plant, they are astounded at the rapidity, at the speed at which this plant can fold its leaves and lower its stalk. And they wondered, why does it do that? Well, they've never really come up with a valid explanation. They've made up a story. They say, well, you know, herbivores like cows, they eat vegetation. And maybe when a cow comes walking along and it tried to eat this plant, huh, the plant thought, oh, I got to protect myself. So it discovered how to fold up its leaves and lower its stalk. Well, that maybe would scare away the cow, they've said. Well, I don't think a little moving plant is going to scare away a cow. And the same leaves and the same vegetation is still there. It's just going to continue to eat it. And the even bigger problem is the complexity involved to make this plant do what it does. You see at the back of the leaves, there are little cells with valves. And when the leaf is touched, it opens a valve, water comes in, and it forces the leaf to fold down. And there's other little sacs at the back of the stalks where water comes in and forces that whole stalk to just fold down. If you brush your hand across a whole group of this plant, all the leaves fold all at once, just right before your eyes. They're very common in southern United States, uh, Central South America, even in the Polynesian Islands. They're so common they're considered weeds, but they're an amazing plant. Now, I just, I want you to think with me for a second and try to discover, could this plant have made itself or has an incredibly intelligent, brilliant designer made this plant? You see, it has to tell the difference between wind blowing and moving the leaves and a finger or something, that, a mobile animal touching the plant. So it has to sense what is happening. Then it has to send a signal to specially designed water reservoirs that allow movement to happen. When you see a system with multiple parts all working together to perform a function, you know there is a system maker. And that system maker is Jesus Christ who created all of life and its complexity for his glory. And so we would know he exists.